Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on two very specific types of processing. Now, the first one is your noise gate, which we can grab over here in Logic. You go to Dynamics and you go to Noise Gate. And the second is, again, in Logic, if we come up here to Functions, Selection Based Processing. Okay, so these are the two um, things that we're looking for. Now, I'll deal with this one first, selection-based processing. I've been waiting a very long time for Logic to actually release some sort of noise reduction or noise removal plugin or processor, and they made this available in Logic 10.3. Now, today we're at 10.4.5. I'm using a machine that's running 10.3. So if you are, there we go. 10.3. So if you're using Logic 10.3, this is available to you. Okay. Now the distinction between your noise gate and your noise removal plugin, um, it's very simple. With the noise removal plugin it attempts to figure out what constitutes noise in your audio and then remove it throughout the entire piece. Whereas a noise gate listens for quiet gaps in between the audio signal. So for example, as I'm speaking, there are gaps in my speech between the words. Now those gaps are what the noise gate will be looking for. Then when those gaps occur, the noise gate then shuts off the volume of the output signal. It'll be a lot easier when I demonstrate, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is record some audio with a fair bit of background noise, just to kind of demonstrate this thing properly because there'll be situations where you're recording with a fairly noisy background and you're going to need to figure out how to remove that background noise just to clean up the audio. All right, so let's get started with that. Okay, so I'm going to be using this audio recording to demonstrate how we can use the tools available to us to clean up the audio. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. As you can see, there's still a fair bit of signal and that's the background noise in the room. We're gonna use this recording right here to find a way to remove that noise and clean things up. And um, that should be it. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so here's the recording. And for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm actually going to normalize this audio file. Okay, so I'm just gonna double click here and I'm going to use a key command, Control, N to normalize and yes. Okay, so we're maximizing the gain on this audio region before distortion. And what normalization actually does, it raises the entire volume of the audio clip, including the level of the background noise. So we should hear that more prominently now. Okay, so there's your noise in the background. Okay, we're gonna fix all of that. Don't worry about that. Okay, so let's deal with the noise gate to start off with. And we're gonna apply the noise gate on the channel strip right here with this audio recording. So we come down to dynamics and noise gate. And so now I'm not gonna go into too much detail about how noise gate works. Now the two main things that we wanna focus on are the threshold and reduction. Now I want a reduction of minus 100 dB. So in other words, whenever there's a quiet gap in between words, I want the noise gate to reduce the output signal to absolute zero, complete silence, all right? And that's what the reduction is. Now the noise gate will use the threshold level to determine whenever the audio signal drops below whatever threshold I set, then the output is completely cut off. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's just loop around this section right here. Now there's audio gap and it's gonna loop back around. So have a listen to the background noise. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. Now, as you can tell, the background noise is still there. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. So that means the threshold has not been set high enough. So we're gonna raise the threshold until when we reach a point of quiet, then the gate will actually close and stop all output um, from this channel. 
when I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. Okay, so now, when I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. Right, so you can hear the gaps being cut out. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. Here we go. I'm gonna back it off. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. Right, so what that suggests now is the level of the background noise exceeds um, minus 47 dB. That's why the gate is not shutting off. So we need to push the threshold above that. Maybe let's go to minus 40. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. Right, now there's a, a little something going on here. Let's zoom into this. Okay, so as you can see, there are little intervals around here where the gain actually jumps up a bit. So we're actually gonna push this up some more. So it requires a, a lot more gain in order to open the gate, all right? So let's try this. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. in the actual vocal section, it's cutting out a little bit too much there. So we're gonna back this off to about minus 30. Let's try that. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. Right, okay, so that, that'll do. Um, some of these other settings, now the attack um, control is how quickly does the gate open once the threshold has been crossed? Secondly, the hold is how many milliseconds does the gate stay open after the signal falls below the threshold? And the release is how long does it take for the signal to fade out once the signal falls below the threshold? Okay, that's what these controls are. So I'm just gonna play the whole thing. So let's go to here, let's play that back. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this audio recording to demonstrate how we can use the tools available to us to clean up the audio. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. As you can see, there's still a fair bit of signal coming through and that's the, uh, and that's the room noise, that's the background noise in the room. And um, we're gonna use this recording right here to find a way to remove that noise and clean things up. And um, that should be it. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so it's a fairly long recording, but you get the essence of what um, the gate achieves. Wherever there are quiet gaps in the vocal, and if this is not just for vocals, this is for drums, for bass guitar, any recording, whether it be a vocal recording or a musical instrument, where there are gaps in the signal, the noise gate can be used to clean and remove background noise during the gaps. However, the background noise that exists within the audio file still exists. So whenever I'm speaking, you can still hear the background noise in the audio. And now I'm gonna show you how you can actually remove the, the background noise altogether and take it out from the entire um, audio recording and we'll be using the process called noise reduction or noise removal. Okay, so we're now gonna use the selection-based processing which lies under functions in Logic. So click on that and right here at the top, channel strip setting, we're gonna click on that and we're gonna come down to here, you can see under vocal tools, you've got quite a number of additional um, presets that you can use in order to clean up your vocal. All right, but what we're gonna use today is we're gonna use under utility, um, noise suppression expander. Okay, if I click on that, and as you can see here, um, a couple of Logic plugins have been loaded. I'm not gonna touch them at all, and let's hit pre-listen. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this audio recording to demonstrate how we can use the tools available to us to clean up the audio. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. Okay, as you can hear, that's completely quiet. Let's just play it back and compare. 
Okay, so I'm going to be using this audio recording to demonstrate how we can use the tools available to us to clean up the audio. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. Okay, now the area of focus, which is that, you can hear the, the level of background noise which is poking out here. By just using this noise suppression expander, it's actually removed that noise. And not only here, but it's removed it from within the audio file. So we're gonna just play that back once more. I'm just gonna hit pre-listen. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this audio recording to demonstrate how we can use the tools available to us to clean up the audio. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. Okay, there you go. All I need to do now is hit apply. And now that, as you can see, that has applied that processing to the audio file. So if I play that back now. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this audio recording to demonstrate how we can use the tools available to us to clean up the audio. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. Here we go. Great. Now that's a great tool to use within Logic. You can then go on and do additional things to enhance the audio after it's been processed and all of the noise has been taken out. Okay, I'm gonna undo this and I'm gonna show you a couple more things that I generally use. Um, now the main tools I use when I'm tidying up my audio I use um, external plugins, um, third-party plugins, and there are a couple of key ones which I use. But, but the first thing I do is I always use my EQ to filter the low-end frequencies. So I switch on the low-cut filter, and I filter generally around 100 hertz. Okay, let's play back. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this audio recording. So I wanna get rid of all of this low-end noise, background noise that um, is not, um, needed in this actual vocal recording. So I'm just gonna switch that on. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this audio recording to demonstrate how we can use the tools available to us to clean up the audio. Right, so it's actually cleaned up and taken out all of that background noise down the bottom there. Right, so that's the first thing I'll do. The second thing I do, now that although the noise gate is, is on here, I'm not actually using it. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of my favorite plugins, which is the Waves X Noise plugin. And this comes as part of the Waves Noise Reduction Bundle. Now this is very clever, and this is how you use this tool. You find a section where there's a gap and where there's background noise. Let's switch off the plugin. Right, let's just come like, it's a bit too much there. Let's go for this. Right, now that's a noise signature that's pretty much running all the way through this recording. Now what you do is you switch this to high, you then go learn. And you're telling the plugin to learn what the noise signature looks like in this audio recording. And now I switch the plugin back on. I'm now going to adjust the threshold and the reduction. And there you go, noise is disappearing. Here we are, reduction, a bit more, is practically silent. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this audio recording to demonstrate how we can use the tools available to us to clean up the audio. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. Okay, that's sounding great. Bypassing. Okay, so now you can adjust the threshold and the um, reduction amount according to your taste. And this is the one of the key tools I use when I'm doing my podcasts or my videos or anything that a fair bit of background noise that I need to remove, then I'll use this tool, X Noise. Now there's another great tool that I'm using from time to time. And I've just now bought the latest version because there's a great sale on and a huge reduction as you can see right here. I'm getting this update today. So let's insert RX7 Voice Denoiser. 
All right, and this is what it looks like. Very simple, but very powerful indeed. Now, as standard, you've got adaptive mode. It's like an automatic analyzer of the audio signal and tries to work out what noise actually is. So if I was to just, just loop around the noise section and just play back, I'm gonna bypass so you can hear the difference. And that's a huge reduction already. You can reduce even more by using the re reduction fader over here. And you can adjust the threshold as well. And let's bypass again. Okay, so that's actually filtering the noise. Now, the other method which I like to use as well, just like with the Waves X noise. I'm gonna switch off adaptive mode. Let's just reset this. Let's go back to default. I'm gonna switch off adaptive mode and hit learn. And now I'm gonna play back. Okay, now the plugin will have learnt what the noise signature is like in this piece of audio. And let's play back now, let's see what we got. Now let's go back to the top and let's check out what it sounds like. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this audio recording to demonstrate how we can use the tools available to us to clean up the audio. When I stop talking, have a look at the meter down here. Okay, so that generally covers it. So the tools that we use for removing noise within the audio, actually taking the noise out whilst the main signal is being played back. And that's your noise removal or noise reduction plugin or processing. However, the noise gate, which is this one, looks for the gaps and switches off the output whenever the main signal drops below a certain level and therefore it silences the gaps, okay? So that's the main difference between the two and I hope you're able to make sense of this and use it. And like I said, if you're using Logic and you go to selection-based processing, you now have your own built-in noise reduction tools right here. You've got tools for reducing plosives and tools for reducing pops and clicks. You've also got tools for reducing hum as well as um, TV noise, okay? So hopefully that's gonna help you in your recordings to try and keep things nice and clean. And I'm sure if used correctly, these tools can be great assets to your overall productions. Okay, so I hope you found the video useful. If you have done, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Also drop me a line in the comment section if you have any questions or if you just wanna give general feedback. It's always great hearing from you. Remember to also check out my other social media and my music website, doosbeats.com. And like the rest of the MTTC squad, remember to switch on your notification bell so when my next video drops, you'll find out straight away. Until next time, I'm Dr. Deuce. Peace.